The strength of Earth, one of the strengths of Earth is relationships, right? And Earth people are able to bring about harmony and unity. Hi, welcome back to the Chinese Medicine Podcast. My name is Marie Hopkinson. I'm a Chinese herbalist and an acupuncturist. And today I'm going to be talking about how to pre best prepare yourself for the coming new year for each different element. Type. So some of these things um, are no brainers for Earth for these elements, not just Earth, but any element, right? The strengths, some of the stuff is like, well, yeah, I know that, Marie. Um, but sometimes you don't even know that it's a strength. You just do it with ease and you don't even know that it's a strength to you. So what I'm trying to get at here is saying, this is your strength. What's the best way for you to use that in 2020? So I would say to an earth element person, like how can you leverage bringing people together in 2021? Like how can you leverage that ability to gather groups together, um, to bring harmony, um, like the power to the people? Um, and an earth element person isn't really an authoritarian way of doing that. They're naturally um, seen as, they can be good leaders, but they're not like a forefront of the, of the group usually, but they will be bringing, they'll be instrumental in bringing people together. Um, but they don't necessarily have to have the limelight, but they are good at unifying people. So that's your strength. If you're an earth person, you're watching this, your, your strength is unifying people. Um, and so you can bring peace to turmoil situations, you know, where there's unrest, where there's um, people that have got differing, differing opinions and they all need to kind of come together for some greater purpose or for some reason. That can be one of your greatest strengths, earth people. <laughs> it sounds like some kind of um, alien per earth person. No, but if you're an earth element type, that's your strength. Now, Earth element people are also very caring and nurturing. Um, and so I would say to you, what do you want to care for? What do you think needs to be nurtured in 2021? In your own life, in your family, in your relationships, um, in your workplace, in your business, wherever you are, um, in your community. Um, what could you nurture? What, where can you bring that strength of nurturing? You know, the earth element's about growth and renewing. Now, also, if you haven't already, watch the series on the five element. I've got, a, I've got a video on the series, the five element personality types. And that will explain to you, there's about 25 to 35 minute videos on each type. It's got the, the element in its natural state or its undiseased state, let's say, right? In its healthy state. And then what happens to that element in two ways, it can either become exaggerated, like there's just way too much of it going on, or there's not enough of it going on for that person. And so, you couldn't be that type and you might resonate with some of this stuff, but you could also be out of balance. And that's where you'd need to kind of, kind of go and see a practitioner. Now, specifically a five element acupuncturist deals with this stuff in a very unique way, right? It's a specific way that they do this stuff. And they use acupuncture to treat it, right? To treat these imbalances and bring harmony. Now, a regular acupuncturist can work with some of these things in a different way, but not in a five element way, unless they've been trained in that style. Um, but sometimes what will happen is if you're out of balance, if your elements are out of balance and you do some diet and lifestyle things for that, um, particularly for earth, it can become, um, it can affect people's digestion. It can affect your bowels and things like that. So if you did acupuncture or herbs and it affected that, like you, you treat the physical, then the mental will kind of fix up. Now the system of herbs I practice particularly looks at like when people have a phys uh, mental health um, imbalance right or like they have a mental health symptom we treat it through the physical and then we think well if the physical body's in balance in harmony in health then it creates this state for the um, mental emotional functions to to function properly and so they will then return to health rather than saying well we need to do like talk therapy or we need to do certain now you might need that as well but that's not what a Chinese herbalist or acupuncturist is there for. Um, now, unless they've been trained in that, you might see a practitioner that does a bit of that and they've been trained additionally in it. But just in the stock standard Chinese herbal medicine or acupuncture degrees, practitioners aren't trained to be a counsellor or a therapist in that way. They do get a lot of training in it. Like the college where I teach um, in Australia, they, they have like three or four units on psychology and counselling and communication kind of skills. Like as in every year for four years, their students are learning something about that. 
but they still would encourage students to say, right, if a patient needs that stuff, they need to go elsewhere because you're not a licensed or a qualified therapist um, just from that. Like, it's, it's a whole other thing to study. Anyway, this video is not a rant. Um, so earth people, earth element people. I've got something in my eye. Uh, got some hair in my eye. Uh. Um, so the weak, what's the weakness of earth then? Um, <clears throat> what's the weakness of earth then? Well, earth people can be very loyal. They are loyal people. And sometimes they can be loyal to a fault, right? And so I would say, if you're an earth person, is there, are there things in 2021 that you need to let go of? And that can be really hard for an earth person. Um, are there any loyalties that you need to let go of? Like relationships where you're just there because you're loyal and you know it's not good for you, you know it's not productive, you know it's not a healthy relationship anymore. Now, it might be a relationship with a business, um, a business-to-business -business relationship. It might be a human being, <laughs> a person, just like a friendship that's become toxic or even a, um, a love relationship that's no longer loving, that's no longer healthy for you. Um, maybe you don't need to end it, but maybe you need to do something about it. But you need to like think about, is your loyalty, I guess for an earth element person, stopping you from addressing that? Because that can be a reason why earth element people don't act on those things. Um, earth element people can also be too busy just pleasing others and not leave room for themselves. So in 2021, are there things where you need to think about yourself more? And that's okay. It's okay to prioritize yourself a little bit more because you probably have a tendency not to do that at all or to give up your own needs in favor of others' needs. Um, now, that can be good in a way because as an earth element person, caring for other people, nurturing other people benefits you. Right? This is the whole point of it. Like other element types will look at that and think, oh, that's too much. You're helping people too much. You know, I've been on the end of a, the stick. I'm not an earth element person, but of people criticizing what I do, saying, you're doing that too much, Marie, you're doing that too much. <laughs> it drives me bonkers, especially when I was younger and I didn't know that there were different types of people. And you know what? What I like to do actually energizes me and that might drive you nutty and that you may think that that's too much or I'm doing the wrong thing or whatever. But if you are energized by something, then that's good. So I'm not criticizing you as an earth person, but I'm just saying, that, that can be a detriment where you, you are putting others ahead of your own self all the time and you never put yourself for, for first. Um, another earth element thing that can happen is earth people could become just too obsessed. Now, thinking, the intellect is part of the earth element, right? So thought, processing, um, ruminating is kind of an out of balance of that. An obsession can kind of be an out of balance of that as well. So going too far and just thinking and thinking and thinking and then obsessing and obsessing, like this can happen when people fall in love with someone and it's not reciprocated, right? And they're just obsessively thinking about that other person who doesn't care about them, or doesn't even know that they exist, doesn't know that they like them. Um, and you could overly care for somebody that's not reciprocating that back to you. Now, this could be in a relationship. This could be... Um, in a situation where you wish there was a relationship, it could be in a situation where you're just draining, you're, you're, it's no longer nurturing you anymore to nurture that person. So you might be a carer for someone who's, you know, needs um, some paid help as well, right? You can't just care for that person 24 hours a day anymore. Maybe that's not healthy for you. Um, and, and I just wrote this note here um, saying, as I was thinking about this today, like, Earth element people tend to, because they tend to take that role, particularly in families, like if there's someone that needs to be cared for, um, and then because they're taking that space up, others won't step into the space. And they can kind of sometimes feel a bit resentment that, oh, why don't the others come in and help? And if they simply stopped, and I'm not saying stop caring for the person that's relying on your, your care, but if you were to withdraw that in some way, it makes space for someone else to come in, right? So if you weren't there at all, what would happen? Would the other sisters and brothers come in and help, or would you know you need would the the person who needs the care, um, you know, have to get some paid help or something like that? Um, so that can that can be part of it. Um, Oversharing, um, like sharing all their resources, 
Um, if one element was the communist element, I would say the earth would be that because it kind of wants to give away all of its resource and that can be good because it nurtures the plant and it nurtures, you know, it nurtures what's need to, to be done for the good of society. <laughs> but sometimes that can just be way too much and that person doesn't end up owning nothing, ends up having nothing for themselves, right, at the detriment of everyone else. So that's my, um, well, not really my predictions, but my suggestions for a healthy earth element person in 2021. All right, let's get on with the fire element.